Hello, bonjour, hola, welcome, shalom, salam alaikum. Na maste it your girl Benis Monday, also known as Dr. Benis Mo, your relationship therapist and coach. If this is your first time here, please and please and please kindly hit the subscribe button to see more of my videos. Thank you and nice having you in my space. I'm on a topic why your partner can love you and still cheat on you. Kindly stay tuned, I will be right back. Many people believe that a partner who loves them won't cheat on them. That isn't true at all. A person can love you and still cheat on you. If you look on love and royalty in dictionary, you will see that they have different meanings. Love is divine as intense feeling of deep affection, while royalty is a strong feeling of support or alliance. They are not synonyms for each other. The society we live today make cheating easy. Here are ways. Someone can love you and still cheat on you. One, people spend their singleness sleeping around and find it difficult to settle down. Before sex was sacred and was to be reserved for marriage. But now many people use their singleness pursuing sex with different people. The desire doesn't get magical results upon marriage without serious self-control. Many people spend years of their life jumping from one bed to another with different people. And they realize that the only thing that is different when they get married is having a permanent partner at home. Two, sex has been separated from love. People no longer see sex to be love because they have it with different people. If you have been single for a long time, you will understand that many people have sex with the people they have no atom of feelings for. People can sleep with someone and never call them again. So many people love their spouse. But they want to keep having no string attached sex with the people they have no romantic feelings for. Like they normally say, I don't love them. It just sex. Like seriously? Three, social media make hookup easy. From Instagram to WhatsApp, from WhatsApp to Twitter, from Twitter to Snapchat. From Facebook to WhatsApp. Men and women, even married men, married women. And even those in relationship are busy looking at sexy pictures of other people. Chatting with them constantly and developing feelings for those people. People can send racy pictures. And have even sexually charged conversation with other people, being married or dating. And the question is, why are you doing it? What do you gain from it? Social media makes it very easy for hookups. Some of them keep strictly to their phones. But in most cases, they organize a physical meetup to engage in their fantasies. Four, people lack contentment and self-control. Having a partner can get boring and less exciting. You might get tired of them and start to grieve attention from others. But that doesn't mean you want to lose them. So you have other flames outside them to fill up your need for excitement. These all came from a lack of contentment and self-control. Love doesn't automatically stop people from cheating, but self-control does. Five, long distance. Long distance relationship aren't easy. The fact that you miss your partner might, might make you to seek others, to fill in the gap. Even though you love them, you feel lonely and grieve for human touch. A long-distance relationship aren't easy at all. The only way not to betray your love and your partner is to be contented and have self-control. So in conclusion, I will say cheating is a betrayal of trust, but not the absence of love. If this is our first time here, please, I remain your girl, Venice Monday, also known as Dr. Benis Moore. Please, kindly hit the subscribe button. Please, please, please hit the subscribe button to see more of my videos. Thank you and nice having you in my space.